Can you share with us your name of the firm and what project brings you here tonight? Hi, we're with HAP. We are a full service infrastructure consulting firm, about 1,500 employees throughout the South and Southeast United States. And we're here tonight to celebrate the Bastrop State Park Dam. Tell us a little bit about your project. Yeah, well, thank you. Um, well, we've been a trusted advisor with Texas Parks and Wildlife for over 20 years, uh, providing innovative and creative solutions. I want to thank Texas Parks and Wildlife for uh, the projects and the ability to do infrastructure and recreational improvements all across the state. Um, and, and one project that embodies that partnership is the Bastrop Park State Dam. And we got a call late one evening uh, about an emergency situation, and we had our team mobilized early the next morning and provided guidance and solutions. And I'm gonna turn it over to Becky to talk about some of the details. Yeah, the Bastrop State Park Dam was a big undertaking. This project involved reconstructing a dam that was originally built in 1913. And it's a big part of Texas history as well. So after the failure in 2015, um, the whole dam had to be reconstructed. Um, Half was a trusted advisor and demonstrated good stewardship by valuing all the resources within the park. Construction began in 2021 and was completed in 2023. And not only did we restore the dam, but we brought back the lake that so many enjoy. Yeah, being a, a frequent visitor of the park since I was probably about yay tall or so, um, the dam was, was a big part of it. The lake was provided a lot of recreation opportunities and some beautification to the park. And so when it failed, that was kind of a piece of that park that was missing. And so, uh, they wanted to restore that park and in fact talking to Parks and Wildlife they said it was critical that they, they bring that park, that dam back to uh, preserve that cultural heritage from the C Civilian Conservation Corps that originally built it in the 1930s. And so now we brought that dam back and had that as part of uh, that heritage of that park. And So what makes the project really stand out is our approach to integrate a new dam within the old footprint. Um, we were able to not only preserve the historic aspects of the dam, but we were able to incorporate them in our design. And we did so with the environmental stewardship of the site and then the park itself. Um, we took an overall global uh, site approach, not just at the site, but throughout the park. Um, one of the big challenges was updating the dam to modern safety standards. And with that, sourcing the material for this for the reconstruction. Um, the project team had to balance the costs of bringing material in for the dam and sourcing it within the park. And so we used remote sensing to figure out if we had enough material in the park to actually build the dam, and we balanced the cost and the environmental impacts. Uh, further, um, in addition to just monitoring programs for the endangered species, we came up with some innovative approaches to protect them. I think you're kind of hearing from everybody why this project is important to us and important to parks. Can you talk a little bit about being able to do a project like this right in your own backyard, something that's so important to your community and, and where you grew up? Yes, our purpose at HAP is to improve lives and communities. And so we just feel so grateful for the opportunity to help the Texas Parks and Wildlife Department really live out their mission, which is life's better outside. And so we really feel a great sense of purpose in being able to deliver this project with them. Congratulations, it's a fantastic project. Thank you so much, and to ACEC as well.